Hey guys and welcome to the channel. We are switching up the channel a little bit from what it used to be. We're making um, our Chop Shop channel here. So basically we're going to be uh, following us on modifications to our vehicles. We've got the 2020 regular X and then the 2014 Genesis Coupe. Um, today, um, this video is going to be fixing up my car as you'll see in a bit. But I just wanted to let you guys know that we have a lot of fun content coming up. Um, in the next couple of days, hopefully, I'll have a full video for you guys of us um, modifying some BK1 headlights that we're going to be selling. Um, that's a really fun video. We blacked it out. Um, and then soon we're going to be having a lot more fun content like that coming up. But basically, stay tuned. we got a lot of fun videos coming up. And if you like that car content, make sure to subscribe and like the video. Um, but yeah, just stay tuned. A lot of fun stuff is coming up. Come on, let's go. Okay guys, so I'm about to get started here. So this is the paint pan I'm using. Um, I got it at the Subaru dealership, so it is the actual Subaru one. I'm not too sure about any aftermarket ones or made by like any um, secondary brands. Um, personally, because it's a brand new car, I'm gonna go with the Subaru brand when it comes to this kind of stuff. Monty, stay back. So let's get started. Looking at, they're actually not very uh, visible on the camera just because of all of the glare we're getting here, but there's one of them. You can see it actually went all the way down to the metal. I <laughs> cut through all of the paint, so I want to make sure I can fill all of that in. A couple of scratches here. And then one more chip up here so we're gonna be using some iso um, rubbing alcohol with some little pads I'm um, just gonna be kind of buffing the area where the uh, little rock chips are on the fender and also here in the top panel um, that's kind of just make sure that it's clean and then with the pen what I did is I actually pressed the tip of the pen into just like a piece of cardboard that was on the floor um, that kind of got the flow going and then I put kind of like a dollop on the scratches and then I just kind of moved uh, the ink around with the tip to ensure that all of it was evenly covered. Now it did look like it was stayed quite bubbled out but once it dried it kind of meshed with the color a little bit better and now that I look at it as time has gone past it definitely does look like it meshes very well. So here you can see that the color looks pretty even with the paint of color. It does look a little bit darker but I think that's just because of the depth in there you just end up seeing a little bit of the shadow but uh, the color matches pretty good. Now here we're going in with the clear coat. Um, the tip just comes on a little sponge tip. Um, so I just kind of dotted that over top. I didn't want to do too much. Um, so you can see you kind of uh, are able to see a little bit of the kind of clear gloss over top, but I didn't really um, think it was that big of a deal. Um, but yeah, you can't even tell that those two scratches were there. Right, so if you guys enjoyed that, let me know. Um, I can do more little stuff on the car as I do it. Um, I have some more stickers that I'm gonna be putting on the car. So if you guys wanna see sticker applications, figure out a really good way to do it. Um, yeah, oops, um, I totally forgot to film putting these guys on or else I would have posted it, but yeah. Anyways, if you guys wanna see more content on modifying my car um, and Johnny's cars in, in the works, um, let us know in the comment section down below. But if anything, stay tuned. We got a really cool video coming up of us modifying these headlights that we're selling. Um, we're essentially blacking out BK1 headlights. So if you guys are interested in that, keep an eye out because that's going to be coming up hopefully in the next few days. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video. And welcome to Chop Shop.